She's co-starring with The Rock in the action movie Walking Tall. Let's take a look. Jay Hamilton's done well for himself, hasn't he? Yeah, he's a real go-getter, that one. He must be. I heard he got you. It lasted about eight minutes. A long, long time ago. You still work for him, though. Rent's got to be paid, Chris. I suppose so. Hope to see you around. Do you? Now, that looks like a great clip. I can't wait to see the movie. I love The Rock, and you guys look like you have this chemistry together. Yes, how can you not have chemistry with that man? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me. And you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was wonderful. I went to the premiere last night and saw it. And, so how uh, was it? It was great. It's action-packed. Now, is it a movie that, honestly, I know sometimes that, that we as actors, you know, that you do something that maybe you wouldn't go out and see, but, but would you pay to go out and see, to see Walk and Talk? Absolutely. That's a good no, answer. No, listen, I literally, you can't not like the movie. It's, it's, it's not just a dude's movie, either. It's like, chicks like it, too. He's walking around half naked, and I'm walking around half naked most of the time, so. Well, I guess you got something for everyone. Yeah, something there, for there everyone. There you go. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got family appeal. It does. Well, fam yeah, family It's PG-13. Now, now, the film opens up nationwide, so what's wa Walking Tall about? Walking Tall uh, is, I don't know if y'all remember, but in the 70s, um, there, was, there was a couple movies made. Mm -hmm. um, pretty fantastic movies, and so we remade it. It's, it's basically about a man that comes back to his hometown, and it's gone terribly wrong, and he tries to rebuild the city. But it's got a great message, you know. I don't suggest everyone walk around with a big stick kicking the... <laughs> just, just smacking people. Out of people, but yeah, stand up for yourself, and if you need to clean up your community, do it. And, and, and he doesn't go by the name of, uh, of Sheriff uh, Buford Pusser in this one, right? No, it's a different... not Buford Pusser. Can you imagine that being your name? <laughs> well, well, it was for someone. I know. <laughs> Who's watching right now going, no, he's not that's watching. my name. He's not, he's not watching anymore. But, well, he might be. Sorry. No, no, that's right. That's right. Because he, <laughs> nice. Um, You're going no, to hell. No, now it's Chris Vaughn. No. No, I'm sure he didn't like it very much either. No, well, I'm His not... mom is sending me to hell right yes, now. Yes, exactly. Didn't now, now, we can get from the, uh, from the clip that you play The Rock's love interest and you guys yeah. had something, but he went away and now he's back and mixing things up. Yeah, he split. He left me and came back for me. Yeah, he's my man. He came movie. back. I get to do a love scene with The Rock. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. Now how, now, how does your fiancé feel about you and The Rock? I mean, The Rock is big enough to intimidate any guy. I don't care how masculine you think you're. You're like, I, I, I don't care. It's The Rock. <laughs> <In> the, <team>. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock. No, listen, it's a painful thing uh, to see anyway. I mean, whether it's The Rock or if it's, you know, any other actor, it's the only business in the world where you... I guess get to. <laughs> it's like a freebie <laughs> when you're married or you're in a relationship to make out with somebody. It's uncomfortable. You I don't know? know what you're talking about because I do painful. a talk show. We right. don't do that here. You don't? We don't know. No, I thought we were supposed to. They told me that we were going to make out. Oh, the. Um. <laughs> And now your fiance is going to kick my butt as no, well. No, my fiance is very, very supportive and amazing. But, you know, it's an uncomfortable thing. I'd rather him leave the room if he has to watch that. Nobody wants to see their loved one kissing anybody else. I well, I know that you love him. Or not. Well, I, I know that you love him because him. you got his name. You have a tattoo, right? I, I do. May, may we see? Said, yes, I just got it. It's um, Anthony Scott Rulin is his name, and my name will be Ashley Scott Rulin. So I got ASR on the back of my name. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. So I can't go anywhere. No, no, so basically you're branded. Yes. That folks know that you guys are together. Yes, he's installed the low jack, too. He's, oh, very nice. Where is she? <laughs> now, one of the things I was reading about um, when I was doing research on you is you are addicted to McDonald's, and then specifically the McRib. Yes. Which I can't tell that you're addicted to McDonald's simply by looking at you. You love the McRib? I love the McRib. But the McRib really isn't M McRib, it's is it? It's not rib at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's just this compacted, pressed, rib-looking, wonderful piece of something. 
You really got a look of glee on your face, too. <laughs> it only comes, you know, every, every like, twice a year, I think. And so I buy up as many as possible so they keep, you know, they'll put it on the menu. It doesn't work. It's so good. They put three pickles and, you know, the little, little um, uh, onions, little chopped up onions. You aren't joking. You're a fan. You actually know what goes on top of the McRib. Oh, yeah. Three pickles. Exactly. No, I believe you. I believe you. Hey, calm down, Ricky. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, they're the best. Have y'all not had a McRib? No. <laughs> Everybody's like, Most yeah, of the folks right, this like, lady. We've stayed away from that piece yeah, of meat. No, I, I just love, I, I have a thing for processed food. <laughs> well, maybe like, you remember might. Remember Steakums? Steakums were hot. I, I love Steakums. I love Steakums. Maybe they don't you might, make them anymore for a reason. Maybe you might get Spam just tattooed right here on your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Spam. Uh, come on, fried spam sandwiches. Yeah, no That's a girl that's my heart. Folks, be sure to catch a meat loving woman, <laughs> Ashley Scott, in Walking Tall, which Please. opens in theaters everywhere tomorrow. Yes. Ashley Scott, you are Thank awesome. You. We'll be right back. For tickets to the Wade Brady Show.